Hey guys, Sushi Gawaza here, and today we've got another video about how to be popular uh, Cybertron and Prime League bases. And with most of my videos, I've got a partner here, Mirage Jake, say hi. Hey guys. So uh, if you've not seen Mirage's uh, own channel, then go and check it out. Uh, it does a few uh, FIFA videos, Transformers Earth Wars videos, some uh, Roblox mm. videos. So uh, if you like his sort of content, then go and check him out. I've posted a, a new video up as well. Yeah, so go and check it out. I'll put, the, uh, I'll put a link to the channel in the description. So with this design, we're seeing this a lot more and more. Uh, some slight variations here and there to try and sort of stop the attacks from uh, doing certain things. And, and we first saw this design when Prime League first came out and they had the shout to comms. And to honest you, I failed miserably every time that I faced this base. It's a really wow. difficult base to face. Um, I think I've worked out a way how to beat it every single time, but every single time it tends to sort of path my box differently and you have to think on your feet. But I think I've nailed it down. So we're going to give it a go. Like I said, it's slightly different um, to how we normally do it. So what we do normally is I'm going to put a gunner down and then we use the gunner to take out these defences here. And then we drop the rest of the box there to take the shots from the mortar. Then we drop uh, Skylinks and Sabre there. And Skylinks is used to take out this section here. Wait, and then, you could do all that? Yeah, because they're, oh. so they're close by, you can use it as a combo. And then as soon as Sabre gets in range around here, maybe pops this outpost, we rush Sabre up here, pop in this outpost here, getting some ability points from all these buildings, and then across again, some more ability points, taking out these buildings as well. We drop the combiner, do lots of damage all in this section here, and then we just clean up the section using tracks to sort of cover the bots to defeat the rest of the uh, outpost bots. And you get plus three there. Yeah, we get a lot of ability points back. Yep. So that is the plan. And let's uh, see how we go. Right, so you can see here, I've took a purple creme Zeke uh, for this middle shock tower. And then the thunderstorms uh, in range, they can do loads of damage. It'll help me to get rid of uh, some of the defenses. So we'll go drop Skyburst just here. And the deployment is really important, guys. It really is. Just go drop Skyburst there. The rest of the bots just there, and you notice I've um I've put the bots in order of deployment as well. I think it really helps. You've already got them. One of these saber quite late. Links, links. It's over there. It's opposite links. side. Hey, you got a double. I'm going to drop the saber over here. Okay. Yep. Loads of battle points. Yep. Oh, cloud and all that. Oh, they're splitting up. They're splitting up. So, right, so what we can do is send the saber straight over to there. Split. Oh, send this to split up. It's all right, they always will. As long as all the outposts get popped. There we go. Um, so you can see there, loads of damage been done there. Pretty much every defense there has been hit. Um, so we're going to go straight onto the shock whoa! tower if we can reach it. He's got no and sound wave. Right there. in the middle there. He's got no and sound wave. Jeez. Reflect all that damage. Da, na, na, a lot of damage na, na, going na, back. Na, 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 na. Don't take any chances. Use it. Noble Sacrifice, Whoa. loads of damage there. Why did you do a Noble Sacrifice? Because there's loads of damage. It takes, it might take some uh, health off uh, Victorian, but uh, it does loads of damage. damage. Up there with the Lita. And looks like Sandstorm's got stuck down there. Wait, it's coming up. Good. Whoa, that is a lot of bots. But then we've got to, we've got to use Sandstorm like this. And I'll do damage. That's what I use Sandstorm for. Bang. Damage the bots and heal your own bots. So it's a double whammy. Wow. And then we're going to use Blaster's Minions to protect Trax and himself. And you can see there, Sandstorm's Ooh. done a great job of saving uh, Sentius there with the healing of Sentius and Micronus. 
and Sunstorm. And base down. So you can see there, guys, that the most important thing is to make sure that your bots path around. Uh, but even then, it doesn't always go to plan. But you just got to make sure that the, the main bots get pathed the right way. So in that sense, we needed links to go that side of the base to take out the middle section. We needed Sabre um, to go that side of the base, to go upright and across. So make sure you're deploying your bots in order. And deployment is really important in these walls, where to put your bots and pathing. So keep that in mind. Watch carefully where I place my bots, why I put my bots there. There's a reason to everything. Right, well, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, then please subscribe. Looking for analytics, only half the people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So going from that, I currently got 1,100 subs. If we can get everyone that watches my videos, at least most of them to subscribe, we can get to 2,000 subs really easily. So if you like my content, guys, you want to see more of these videos, then please subscribe and you'll get notifications whenever I post new videos. And that's pretty much all it is. When you subscribe, it's just me telling you, hey, I've got a video, check it out. And that's it. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.